fries. Now, you remember in the other video that I discussed the phoenixes and that they're extinct. Well, finally, here's the video you've all been waiting for. So, to answer all the questions, um, the phoenixes aren't exact to the original mythology. Phoenixes were essentially a rare race to begin with of birds that well, lived in a lot of places with gasoline and other alcohols. Now, I realize how dangerous that is. Well, these birds were dangerous creatures, and to the immortality thing, some of them are, are immortal. There's basically a certain level in their- they have like a hierarchy, depending on how powerful that phoenix is. Some of them are actually granted immortality while others, well, they're still mortal. Some never get to the higher ups and stay in the lower ranks, thus the reason they still die of old age. Um, the thing is, the Phoenix curse mark automatically gives them the powers of the highest ranking in the Phoenixes. I know you guys are probably thinking so I'm gonna have to figure out how to say all these words. It's nothing insane. Essentially, the lower class phoenixes are just called pecs and the higher up ones are basically just called flame trusses. Flame trusses are the highest you can get and they are immortal. They are capable of, well, pretty much burning everything down if they cough wrong. <laughs> and yes, they're very quick with how fast they fly. They can fly faster than any racer you can ever, ever think of. <laughs> They're a powerful bird, but that does not mean they are not essentially glass cannons. Water is a heavy problem for these, these birds. That's actually the reason why they went completely extinct. You remember I also mentioned in the, the world lore that, yeah, there was a huge flood and it's annual. That's what killed the phoenixes out. The phoenixes had gotten stuck in the flood and while there were very rare cases, and I mean very, very, very rare cases, they all would eventually succumb to the water. I mean, it's almost constantly raining or at least too cloudy. There's too much water in the air. There's too much flooding. There's, there's just too much water in general. And they can barely handle a speck dropping on them, much less the entire world basically flooding at this point. So yeah. <laughs> the flood killed out every last phoenix there ever was. And to explain a little more for the phoenix curse, just so this video isn't incredibly short, I'll also give a little more about the phoenixes, but essentially, the phoenix curse was created originally as a way to try and bring the phoenixes back. The curse was meant to be placed on normal regular birds and turn them into phoenixes. The problem was, some of them couldn't actually handle their own ability and would literally burn alive. And well... <laughs> It was never intended to be used on humans, but it was in, it was uh, used on a princess. This princess had gotten into a war with the demon. Yeah, there's demons here too, by the way! <laughs> and that was the only way they could save her. Once they found out it could be used on a human and they could live, which there's still the chance they could end up burning alive as well, it, they basically realized this curse can be used to save certain people. But there's still the minor issue of them going insane due to the phoenix actually having a serious issue with aggression. Phoenixes, no matter what rank they are, are extremely aggressive, violent, and easy to anger. Usually, I've seen they're depicted as divine beings that like to trick people. No, these guys are rough, boy. You think you've seen an angry bull? These things are terrifying. Did I mention they're 17 feet tall? Because most of them are 17 feet tall. The smallest known phoenix written down and documented <laughs> is only eight feet tall. Phoenixes are really big. <laughs> and you're probably thinking, if a person gets the phoenix curse, does that mean they're weak to water as well? Yes, actually, it does make them extremely weak to water. The thing is, because they're also human, they can actually, unlike the phoenix, grow an endurance to the water. So, 
basically what I'm saying is, if someone were to ever get cursed with the Phoenix Curse, and they actually did build up an endurance to the water to the point that they, they just walk it off, run. I'm serious, run for your life. Run for your life. <laughs> Hey, sorry for the short video, guys. There's not really much on the phoenixes. I didn't write much because, well, they're extinct and I didn't really see the point in it, but I figured this would be a neat little tidbit for everybody. But don't worry, the phoenix curse will have a very prominent role in the story and I, I really hope you look forward to it. I'm really excited to show you guys this. Trust me, this story is my baby and I am so hyped for people to finally see this. Oh, I can't wait. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you shoobs later.